Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. When you go to your supermarket, do you realize that you often reach for the same vegetables like broccoli, asparagus, green beans and cauliflower? Well, I do too, but I like to diversify my menu by buying others like daikon, romanesco, edamame, kohlrabi, tatsoi, aragula, and so on, including this one. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my quick and easy bok choy. These delicious little guys from the cabbage family are so tender and crisp. As the title infers, this recipe is perfect when time is in short supply. It takes just 5 minutes to prep and 5 minutes to cook. So my friends, let's get cooking. These little guys are so good. They are a nice change from everyday veggies. So let's prep them. The first thing we'll do is to cut them in half, but if they're larger, we'll cut them in quarters. Next, we'll transfer them to a large bowl filled with cold water, then switch them around to dislodge any dirt or grit stuck at the bottom of the stalks. We'll now transfer them to a colander to drain and let them sit there until we're ready to saute them. Some like to use a salad spinner. I don't think it's necessary, but go ahead and use it if you want. All right, so in a large skillet over medium heat, we'll add vegetable oil. And when it gets hot, we'll add some chopped shallots and pressed garlic. We'll quickly saute them for only one minute. It doesn't have to be longer than that. To this, we'll add our clean and well-drained baby bok choy, some chicken broth, and low-sodium soy sauce. We'll store the ingredients until nicely mixed, cover, and cook for one minute. 60 seconds later, we'll toss so the bok choy is well-coated. Oh my, <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> Cover again, and this time we'll cook until the stems near the root end are tender, about 4 minutes. The best way to know when they're done is to poke the stems with a fork, and if it goes in easily with a slight resistance, then they're ready. And my friends, this is our quick and easy bok choy. There are many reasons to make this recipe. It's healthy, fast to make, and a delicious change from your everyday vegetables. Next time you go to your supermarket, grab a bag of these little guys and serve them as a side for your next meal. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit cupfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!